What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna add tweets or meeps to our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add the tweets or the meeps to our Twitter clone app. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And super quick announcement, today was the last day to get the massive, massive $200 discount on my Django, Python, OpenAI, ChatGPT, text completion, bot, course thing over at codemy.com. Just tons of you guys have signed up for this thing so far. Super popular, it's a little bit blown away. And I'm getting emails saying, hey, I missed the cutoff time. So I've gone ahead and extended this another three days. So if you head over to codemy.com and click the enroll today button. Now, normally a single course is $49, but if you sign up for lifetime membership using the coupon code I'm about to give you, I'll unlock $200 off this regular price. So it's just $49. So instead of getting just the one chat GPT course, you get all my courses for just $49, same exact price. Just head over here, click this little discount code thing, type in chat GPT, click apply, boom, $200 off your page is $49. That's for the next three days only. I've already extended it now. I can't extend it again after that. And you'll get all my courses, all my future courses at no extra charge. That's not a monthly fee. It's not a yearly fee. It's a one-time fee for all of my courses, including the new chat GPT AI text completion bot, whatever you want to call it, course for Django that I just put out. So if you didn't see the earlier video about this, this is the thing we're going to create, chat GPT bot. And you can type questions and get answers right here. So I could say, uh, I'm a vegan, suggest a snack, click submit, and boom, you get an answer. Post the question right here. Here's the answer. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? And we also save all these things to a database. So you can see past questions and answers. You can click through them with pagination, and it's really cool. So check that out if you're interested. Coupon code chat GPT for the next three days. All right, in this video, we want to start to set up tweets. So we want to be able to post tweets, see the tweets, get your tweets, look at other people's tweets. So you see, we've got this little box. We could say, uh, this is a meep. We could submit it, boom, this is a meep. There it is. So let's head back over to Rakota. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So whenever we create a tweet, we wanna save it immediately to a database, which means we need a new model. So let's head over to our models.py file. And let's come up here and let's, create meep model. You know, on Twitter, you post a tweet. So on our Musker app, we're gonna post a meep. I don't know, <laughs> right? So let's come down here and let's create a class and let's just call it meep, All right? And this is gonna inherit models.model. Now, these are all lowercase l's and they kind of look like capital, but they're not. This, cap, this m is capital, this one is lowercase. So what are we dealing with here? We're, well, we're dealing with users, right? We've got our profile model that has users. We need to keep track of each user's tweets. So we need a foreign key for that. So let's go models dot foreign key. And let's put this on separate lines here. So we wanna use our user model. And this comes with Django. We set this up in an earlier video. And we need to set up a related name, right? And this will help us access tweets for each person later on. So I'm just gonna call this meeps. And then we wanna set on underscore delete to models dot do nothing, all capitalized. Okay, that looks good. What else do we need? Well, we need to save the body of the tweet or the meep, right? So let's go models dot car field. And let's set the max underscore length to 200 characters. We want our meeps to only be 200 characters long, sort of like Twitter, so we'll set that. And notice this is a lowercase L. I know it kind of looks like a capital L, but it's lowercase. It's just how Sublime Text handles this font. Drives people crazy, drives me crazy, but that's a lowercase l. So next, I wanna keep track of when each meep was created. So let's go created underscore at, and let's set that to models dot date time field. And the D, the T and the F are all capitalized. And we wanna go auto underscore now underscore add equals true. So this will just add it automatically anytime somebody creates a tweet, they don't have to look up the time and put it on there themselves. It'll just slap it on in there. So, okay, that looks good. now. We also need to define underscore, underscore, SDR, underscore, underscore, self. And this will just help us view our meeps on the admin back end a little easier. So let's just return. And I don't know, let's make this fancy. Let's want, let's put an F string here. And we want to return self dot user, who the user is, and then a space. And then let's do another one. And in parentheses, let's put the date, right? So let's go self dot created underscore at. And then we could set the formatting we want for this. So I want put the year and 
the month and the day, and also like, I don't know, the hours and the minutes. So we can do it like that. And this is just basic Python date time formatting, right? And then after that, we wanna put a colon and a space. And then finally, one more, let's go F string and let's go self dot the body of the actual tweet. And maybe an ellipsis or something after it. So you'll see what that is in just a second. So, okay, so we've created a massive change to our model and our database. We need to migrate that onto the server. So let's head back over to our terminal. Control C to break out of here. I'm in my C Musker social directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. And let's go Python manage.py make migrations. Okay, so we've created a migration and we can look at that in the code very quickly if we want. Just head over to this migrations and we can see here we've got this meep migration. And it has what we would expect the body that created at and the user foreign key. It also has an ID because Django does that for everything. That gives a primary key ID for each thing that gets submitted to the database. So, okay, we've got our migration. Now we need to push that migration into the database. So let's go Python manage.py migrate. Okay, so we're good to go. So let's turn our server back on. So Python manage.py run server. And let's head back over to the website. We really shouldn't see anything, but if we go to our admin section and log in real quick, we see it only shows the users. It doesn't show the meeps. So we need to add that here real quick. We could do that. Head back over to our code, go to the admin section. There it is. And then down here, let me just copy one of these guys and let's uh, register meeps, paste it in admin.site.register. And we just want to pass in meep, which is the name of our model right there. We need, we also need to import that guy. So up here at the top from dot models, import profile. We also want to import meep. So if we save this and head back to our admin section, hit reload, boom, now we get meeps. So let's try and add one here or two or whatever. So the user is admin. This is my first admin meep, woohoo. Right, so we can save this. And you'll notice here it says admin, the date in that format we picked, year, month, day, hour, minutes. And then this is my first meep and then a little ellipsis. And this formatting of course comes from our models.py file, this thing right here, weird looking thing right there. So not really all that relevant because we're not gonna use the admin area all that much, but you know, it's a matter of style. So I just added it in there anyway. So we can add another one, we could say, uh, add another meep and this one will be uh, Bob. My name is Bob. Save. All right, let's add maybe one more for admin. Uh, this is my second meep. <laughs> maybe one more just for fun admin. This is weird. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got some meeps, right? We've got all this stuff set up. It seems to be working. Now, let's start to output our meeps onto the web page. So let's head back over to our code and head over to our home.html file. And we wanna put these in our home.html file. So let's head over to our views.py file. And in our home section, we need to query the database. So first I wanna make sure if request.user.is underscore authenticated. We only wanna do this if the user is logged in. For now, we just wanna show meeps and tweets to people who are logged in. We might change this later, but just for right now, it's gonna help out a lot. So for now, let's just get all the meeps, right? In the future, we're gonna set this up to where it'll only show the people that you follow their meeps. But right now, let's just get all the meeps. And I'm just gonna call them meeps. And this is going to be meeps.objects.all. And we're just gonna get all of those. Now, we're using the meeps model, so we need to import that up here. So there we go. And now we can just pass these back into the web page as we normally would, meeps and meeps. So that looks good. Go ahead and save this. Now let's head back over to our home.html file and just anywhere down here, let's go for meep in meeps. And right away, I'm just going to end my four so I don't forget. And let's just print out the meep and put a couple of line breaks. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the web page, see what that looks like. Now when we hit reload, we get an error because, uh, oh, I called that meeps. That is wrong, it should be singular, meep. So here, boom, that's meep. And this should be meep.objects at all. Okay, that should work. Head back over to the website. Hey, reload. All right, so we have admin posts. This is my first admin meep. 
Bob posts, my name is Bob. And Min posts, this is my second meet. And Min posts, this is weird. Now you can notice these are from sort of the first meet to the last. That's probably not the way you want it. You probably want the latest meet to be up top. So we could change that around if you want. So we just head back over to our code. And when we query the database, we could go order underscore by, and then we could put negative created underscore at. Now save this and it's created at because that's the date time thing we set in our model. So, all right, let's come back here and hit reload. Now this is weird, should probably be the first one listed. And sure enough, this is weird. Okay, so this is cool, but it doesn't look great. Let's add some formatting here. Let's head over to get bootstrap and click on docs and then come down here to alerts. There we go. And we can just grab one of these. I like this gray one. So that is this. I'm just gonna copy this code. Head back over here to our home.html file and inside of here, just going to paste this code and we'll copy our meep and paste it in right here. Okay. So if we save this, head back over here and hit reload, boom. All right. Looking much better. So, okay. This is okay. But now when we click on my profile on this page, we want to output all of the meeps for yourself, like your meeps. So you just want to keep track of your meeps on your profile. How do we do that? Well, Set over to our code and let's go to views.py file and let's head down to profile. And here let's go meeps. Again, we want to grab the meet model dot objects dot get. Instead of get all, we want to get only the meeps from user underscore ID equals PK. All right, so this PK here gets passed in right here. And that comes from the web page itself. So notice this one, that's the primary key for admin, right? If you go to April, her primary key is three. Whatever this number is gets passed into the request right here, right? And then we can search by that user ID to get just the meeps of that user ID. So then we'll pass those meeps back into the page and we can come down here and pass those in. Meep colon meep. And I pluralize that, so we need to pluralize it here as well. Meeps colon meeps. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Head over to our profile.html page. And up here at the top, let me just head back to the home page here and let's put a quick line break here. And then I'm going to copy this code right here. Head back over here and let's look at this page again real quick. All right, just this is so and so's profile. So. That's right here. Underneath that, let's add a couple of line breaks and then bop in our meep code. Now, also let's do some logic here just to make sure there are meeps because not everybody has meeps. So let's go if meeps and then tap that in and right here and our if. Okay, so if there are meeps, loop through them, put them on the screen in a nice little alert box. So head back over here, click on my profile and we get an error. Oh, <laughs> we looked up the wrong, ah, used up my file. Head over here, this should not be meep.objects. I get this only gets one thing. This should be meeps.objects.filter. All right, that should work. Now when we head back over here, hit reload, we get admins profile. There we go. So this is looking a little weird. Maybe we want to put some line breaks here. In fact, let's do that right now. Head back over here to our profile.html page and come down here to our card section. And I don't know, I'm just gonna add a quick couple of line breaks. Yeah, that's better. We'll play around with that in a little bit. Maybe one more. We'll add some formatting later, but there we go, a little bit better. So, okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Now, if we click on April, she doesn't have any. If we click on Bob, he has one. Again, though, if we click on admin, this is my first one. And we probably want these again to be flipped around in reverse order of newest first. So we can do that. In fact, let's just head over to our views.py file and come up here to our home. And I'm just going to copy this order by thing that we did earlier. Come down to our profile. There we go. Pop that in there. Save this. Head back over here. Hit reload. 
This is my first meep is now at the bottom. This is where it is now at the top. And all right, we're good to go. All right, we are moving right along. We've got our meeps. We can post all of them on the home page. We can post our specific ones for specific people on their profile pages. And yeah, that was pretty simple. So in the next video, we'll probably add our web form so that we can post our meeps straight from the website so we don't have to go through the admin section. But uh, yeah, coming right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code ChatGPT for the next three days. To get $200 off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.